Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I would like to show you how you could recreate this beautiful book tote bag from Dior for a fraction of the price. These are the materials that I used for this recreation. I had about 1 by 1 meters of fabric, some heavy interfacing, fabric scissors, measure tape, thread and a marker, as well as a clue gun and an old bag which is optional. Firstly, I laid out my fabric and draw the measurements on with the marker. I made sure to use the measurements that were listed on the Dior website and added 2 cm for seam allowance. And this is what my pattern looked like. I then cut out my pattern. For the decoration of the bag, I cut out two 116cm long strips of fabric. One of them I cut to be 10cm wide, the other one I cut to be 6cm wide. I cut my strips out and then copied the pattern of my bag onto the remaining fabric for the lining. These were the four patterns that I had. Next I cut the interfacing to fit the pattern of my bag. I then ironed my strips of fabric so the raw edges are facing inside. For the thicker strip I want the beige side on the outside, I therefore ironed the raw edges the other way round. I then top stitched my thinner strip to the wider strip. I then took my bag pattern and decided where I wanted the decoration to be and then sew it onto my pattern. And this is what it ended up looking like. Next I placed my lining onto my outer bag layer right sides together and sew all along the top. I ironed the seam down so it's nice and crisp. I then ironed my interfacing onto the inside of my bag. I folded my two back patterns, including the interfacing, right sides together and sew along all edges but leaving one side open. Next I cut off the access seam allowance leaving only a tiny bit of fabric. I folded my fabric inside out and using my scissors to push the edges out. I then ironed it all down again for a crisp look. I then fold my longer piece of the pattern over on an angle to connect the bottom of my bag to the side.
I repeat the step for the remaining sides. For the last side, I only sew to the marking I made to cut out this pattern for it to be exactly 17.5 cm wide. I then take the sides of my bag and sew them also right sides together to close the bag. I cut off the excess fabric and turn the bag right sides out. To give the bag more structure and that nice look, I fold the bag along the seams and top stitch it down to create a nice patch. As you can see, it gives the bag a little bit more structure. I then repeat this on all four side seams as well as the four bottom seams. My sewing machine was unable to sew right into the corners as it was just too many layers. I also broke a needle doing this, so please be careful. To give the bag the typical book tote look, I folded the sides and bottom into half and ironed it down to keep the fold in. For the hangers I took some of the remaining fabric and cut out 4 strips of fabric which were 5cm wide. I then sewed them right sides together leaving one bottom open. I turned them inside out using my scissors and ironed them flat. I took the hangers of an old bag and cut the filling out to use this for my new bag. To my surprise the filling was pressed scrap fabric. I took some of the filling and put it onto my strip of fabric. I rolled my fabric around the filling and simply stitched the sides closed. I did not close the whole hanger and left an opening at both ends. And I repeated these steps for the other hanger. The side that was left open I sewed shut and folded the raw edges in. I then attached my hangers to the back by sewing a rectangle. Because I wanted my bag to be stiffer, I measured the inside of my tote bag and cut out four layers of interfacing for each side. I 
I then take some remaining fabric and cut it big enough to cover my interfacing. I iron all layers of interfacing onto the fabric and then iron the edges of the fabric over to the interfacing. I then sew the fabric onto the interfacing, folding the raw edge in. I then had two of these panels. I took the magnetic closure out of my old bag to use for my new bag. Next I find the middle of my panel and mark it. I then take the magnets and try to poke it through the middle of the panel. Using scissors and pliers, I attach both magnets to the panels. I then place the panels into the bag, making sure they slide all the way in. Lastly, I used some hot glue to attach the top of my panels to the bag and finished is the recreation. Because I still had some fabric left over, as well as an old pair of sandals, I made matching shoes. I simply cut the fabric to the size of my shoes and glued the fabric onto the sandal. Let's take another look at what I was trying to recreate and here is the final outcome. The Dior Book Toad costs £2,250 and my recreation only cost me £21.90. Not to toot my own horn, but I think I nailed it. I do love my new bag and I love how nice it turned out. Now watch me take this bag literally everywhere. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIY videos.